Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about what's inside the box, right? So the mystery of the computer. For a lot of users out there, I think that they use their computer, mm -hmm. at least what I've seen is they use their computer, they don't really know about the parts that are inside the computer. In fact, they don't even really have a basic foundational knowledge of what's inside the computer and what the different parts do inside the computer. So today I'm going to take a quick moment to break that down and kind of just give you a basic knowledge foundation of what's inside your computer and what the parts do. And I'm going to move through this kind of quickly. If there's any part that you're super interested in or want to learn more about, drop a comment down below and we'd be happy to cover it. Again, we're always looking for topics from our viewers to try and cover. Uh, but that's enough about that. Let's jump right into it. So the first part I want to talk about, this is like the spine or the vascular system of your computer. And that is the motherboard, okay? So if you have a desktop computer, your motherboard could look something like this. Um, in fact, it will look something like that. Or if you have a laptop, I actually have one gutted open right now. Um, it'll look something like this, this part over here. So you see all these ports on the one end, big board, right? CPU covered underneath the heat sink here from the fan. But that's, that's the motherboard. Now the motherboard is super important, okay? Like I said, it's like the spine or the vascular system in the body, okay? It is responsible for connecting all of the other parts that go into your computer and making sure that they can communicate with each other, okay? And one of the most important parts that it's going to be communicating with or uh, providing power to is going to be the CPU. I don't have a CPU on my desk here. I have every other part, but not a CPU on my desk here. But to go into it, the CPU is kind of like the brain of the computer, okay? However, there's one more part in that. So CPU responsible for logic, input output operations and arithmetic, right? But it does this by communicating with your RAM. I got some RAM here. So these are some larger RAM sticks you might find in your computer. Um, those are very old. You might find smaller RAM sticks like this in your computer. They could be anywhere from four, two gigabytes each to four gigabytes, eight gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, whatever. What that does is it stores temporary memory. Okay. So Ram random access memory, it stores temporary memory for all the processes running on your computer at that time. And it feeds that information over to the CPU. Okay. So imagine you have like Google Chrome open the temporary information, all the processes are going to be in the Ram shooting over to the, to the CPU and sort of like a, a two way talk back and forth, like people talk, right? So Ram talking to the CPU, very similar fashion. Okay. So it goes without saying that the more Ram you have and the faster your processor, the faster your computer is going to be, but there's one more component in that mix that we need to talk about. And that is going to be your internal drive or your SSD. If you have an SSD, this is a small SSD right here that came out of that laptop over there. Or you might have a hard drive. Hard drives kind of look like this. I got two hard drives here. This is a larger one terabyte hard drive. And this is a smaller 250 gigabyte hard drive. And you can see in the back, what would be housed under here is a spinning plate. There's a plate in there that spins around. Now the SSDs don't have that. This is the newer, this is the newer version of drives. This is what we're going to be seeing in computers, newer computers more and more because they're faster and they're less likely to fail. Um, and that's what you're going to be finding in your computers more. You might end up with a hard drive as a backup drive in your system, but most computers are going to be using, going to be using the SSD now. So now there's one more part we need to talk about, and this part's going to be more important for gamers, but I still want to cover it. All right, so this is a GPU, right? And I pulled this one out of one of my old systems. It's a 1660 Super. Uh, it'd be great for gaming. So this is what, um, not the best for gaming, but it would be okay. It would do the job. This is one of the uh, components that's, that's absolutely necessary for high-end gaming. So that being said, a lot of computers won't be built with these. So they'll have what are called integrated um, or APUs, integrated processors or APUs. And these are built into the, the uh, CPU. So it's a CPU and GPU combined basically. And so those parts are being used more so in like business computers or home and office computers that don't need a dedicated graphics processing unit. Because again, this is gonna be for, for gaming um, at a higher level, right? So if you're a gamer that matters to you, if you're not a gamer, it's not gonna matter. So. I hope that everyone enjoyed this video and I hope if you didn't quite know about some of the basic parts in your computer, 
that this helped out. And again, if there's anything that you want to see covered in more depth or you want more information on, feel free to leave a comment below and I'd love to cover it in another week um, or at another time. So definitely would love to dive deeper into the parts of the computer if that's something you guys want to hear. And while you're down there, please hit the like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all on the next one. Stay safe online, everyone.